15 minutes of intense beating later. Doxy finally managed to restrain Moon, who has lost her cool, using nothing but magic chains. I didn't expect any of this to happen, but it seems that my time is up. Doxy looks to her own wounds from the enraged Moon before seeing that more ponies were are arriving. Sleep! Moon suddenly collapsed right as Shade arrived to look at the situation. Take your monster of a daughter. I'm done here. If you think I'm going to let you just leave after what you've done, you're sorely mistaken, said Shade, who is ready for a fight. You're going to stand trial or be missing a few fangs after what I'm going to do with you, so there's no way I'm going to let you escape. I think you will. One of them is badly hurt, and you don't have enough time to both get them to a medical facility and stop me from escaping, said Doxy, who creates a portal to escape. But don't worry, this isn't the last time you'll see me. This part of the multiverse is too much fun, and I'm starting to like it here. See you around, Boogie Pony. You're not going after her, asked Boogie Pony's side of shade, as the Princess of Fear lets Doxy go. No, she's right. These two need serious medical attention, thought Shade, who goes to pick up Ocellus and Fluttershy arrives to help with Moon. I don't know what possessed these two to take on that diamond dog alone, but they both seem to be still alive, so let's get them to the doctor fast. Right, said Fluttershy, who was, who was with her on saving these two. What exactly happened here? What happened to them? The beginning, the beginning of the end, I'm afraid, said Shade, who realized she could no longer keep treating Moon like she's just a mere child. It was time to prepare her for an unknown future if Levon isn't stopped.